I'm Petty Officer Cody Boyd, and this is SIG News Now. Nearly 3,000 people were killed in the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. 343 of them were firefighters, and although they are gone, none of the victims have been forgotten. Petty Officer Donovan Patubo has more. Naval Air Station Sigonella's Fire Chief, John Smithgall, was the guest speaker at the base's annual September 11th Remembrance Ceremony. Like many others, Smithgall can recall exactly what he was doing on that horrific day. I was actually at home in Pennsylvania working on a deck with my father at my new house. Uh, our neighbor came out and said, hey John, you know, I know you work at the base. Did you hear what happened? So we went right in and turned the TV on, and there it was, right there happening live. Whether you watch the day's events unfold on TV or listen to it on the radio, there's no doubt you felt the impact of what was happening. As a firefighter, the tragedy hit close to home for Smithgall. When a firefighter dies, the, the whole brotherhood feels it. Now to have that many, 343 go down, is heart-wrenching. You know, you do get choked up there, you know, even to this day. The attacks of 9-11 affected everyone in a different way. For Master at Arms Chief Select Sean Stewart, it was a major contributing factor in his decision to join the military. Stewart tells us why he thinks it's important to remember September 11th. You know, if ever there's question about, you know, the continuity of our nation as a whole, you know, it's one of those things, one of those time frames we can look back to and remember, you know, we were one. September 12th, there wasn't anybody other than America in that day. And, you know, it's definitely something to look back on and remember that, you know, the unity that we have there. For Naval Air Station Sigonella, I'm Petty Officer Donovan Patubo. That's it for this edition of SIG News Now. We'll leave you with photos from around base. I'm Petty Officer Cody Boyd. Thanks for watching.